absolutely friggin' delicious. Uh, yeah, like that. What I've done here is I've rolled out um, half of a puff pastry. So this one is just ready made. Just roll puff pastry, and I've just rolled out half of uh, one of the big blocks. Um, left it quite long and wide. Layered it with a bit of brie cheese from Mio and uh, some spinach, just for that added greenery and uh, a layer of smoked uh, streaky bacon that I've chopped up finely over here. Uh, and now I'm just going to tightly roll it and make some little tartlets. Um, one of the things with these is um, I need to add some more cheese and bits to the end, otherwise uh, the person like, who gets the end portion always gets the short straw kind of thing. So I'm just going to bring it up a little bit more um, and roll it tightly. So, uh, two takes. So now I've just rolled it out and um, using a knife, I'm just scoring uh, little kind of bits in the end to hold the pastry together. I mean, the pastry is so soft you can do it with your finger, but I just like to score it with a knife just to prevent any unraveling and things. Um, but in there is the bacon, the brie, and uh, I also added a little bit of pepper, uh, ground pepper, to um, on top of it before rolling. So here goes. Okay, so um, yeah, we're just slicing up the little tartlets and layering them up. As you can see, the um, spinach doesn't make it particularly healthy or anything like that, but it's great because it just adds that little greenery to it. Um, and hopefully this brie is going to melt deliciously, but as you can see, they're only tiny, tiny little um, nibbles, so uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of them. And here they are, fresh out the oven. Put them in there for 20 minutes. Daddy kiss. Oh! <laughs> 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 